What's up, tubers? Welcome back to the channel. Got another What's in the Box video for you. Today we're looking at the Revell newly re released 124th scale Aston Martin DB5. The Easy Click 007 Goldfinger car. Pretty excited about this one, even though, yes, it is an Easy Click. And, you know, whatever. Never ever disparage the Snap Kids. I built a few of them and they build up really, really nicely. You don't need to paint them. These kits come ready to go out of the box, but uh, you know, obviously you can and they come out even nicer. I'll throw up a couple of pics here of some that I've done that were easy clicks. And then we're going to uh, crack into this thing and take a look at it. I know when these things first came out, they had the, uh, the, I'm not sure what they were calling it, the edition that had the, came with paint, came with paint as well. And it was really expensive for what it is. I mean, this is already, in my opinion, pretty expensive for a, for a snap kit. I mean, oof. But it's a bond car. I had to have it. The oddball Revell boxes that nobody likes. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Do you like them? What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Do you hate them? Uh, they're they're oddball. So right away we'll take a look at the 124th scale body. Pretty large, pretty large body for for this car. I mean, this was a relatively small car. Uh, first impression, it's got some swirls. I see some swirls here and there. Mm, body lines, yeah, they're not bad. Not bad. It's definitely going to take some cleanup. This is not by any means a new kit. So I would imagine it's, you know, it's uh, been around. A little bit of flash there. But other than that, all looks straight. The pillars all seem straight no major warpage or anything looks like it'll be a decent body to work with you know i mean if you were going to build this up with no paint eh, that would bother me but eh, you know whatever we are definitely going to paint it not a question <laughs> so let's uh take a look at the instruction book but first off the color book large really large we have decals on the first page here of yep like most all the click easy click systems you have stickers and water slides so uh sometimes they're different sometimes they have different items on them you can see there are a couple changes in these and the other ones what they have and what they don't and i've also found that sometimes these stickers in some cases work better than the decals do uh, I'll take a closer picture of those and post them at the end. As with all the parts, I'll take single pictures of the trees. These Revell books, nice and uh, nice and detailed. They always include where decals go, color markouts, callouts, you know, placement and uh, procedures like with part of this, that, and the other, in what steps, what options. Like there's a clear indication that you want that to click in, click. <laughs> Good manuals. Uh, we'll do the wheels. Let's do like this. We'll do the glass stuff first. Since they're taped and not cut, I'll go ahead and pull them out so you can see them. Nice clear, clear plastic, looks really good. Uh, let me look a little closer here off camera. Yes, there are, I always appreciate how Ravel puts good markings for when you're gonna, if you're gonna tape and mask your glass yourself. Uh, nice, light covers, all oh, looks good. Looks like look good, good, a uh, good tree of clear parts. It's all taped. Okay, you know what? 
<laughs> Some YouTubers do this off camera. <laughs> Not here. We do it, you know, uh, the real, raw. It's, it's uh, organic. Wow. Those are going to look really sharp. Some black wash in there. Yeah. Some nice good knockoffs or spinners or whatever you want to call those. Decent looking crumb tree. Yeah, some good stuff on there. You know, the door handles and and then keep in mind, this is all designed to just snap into place. You know, there's no glue required. It literally says that on the box. Nice soft wheel. I don't see any markings on it, no style or name brand, but it's definitely gonna look good on those. Large car. I really would like to see a smaller one, but whatever, not gonna complain, because this is this is a really cool car. I mean, I'm, I have one of the corgis, yes, have from my childhood. One of the, it's a little bit smaller. And most of it's still there. The ejecto seat, mm, yeah, no, some of it's broken, some of it's gone. The Batmobile, I'm not sure where it went. I have the boat still. Nice, nice details on the pan. Definitely, uh, definitely paintable and detailed. You know, there's uh, clear indications of where stuff goes. They're they're not dumb kits. You know, a lot of people think the snap kit means that it's for children or, you know, it doesn't take a lot of brains, which, I mean, it doesn't, but it, that's not to say that they're, that, you know, a, a shoddy toy. There's definitely some nice details in there. I mean, look at that dashboard. With some uh, attention to detail, that's going to look great. You'll notice I'm not calling out the parts at all. Now, that one's kind of roundish and that one's sort of rectangular. This one is rectangular with a hole in it, so that's different. <laughs> Does that help? Is that helpful? It looks like it's part of the gauge system. Oh, no, that's right. That's the center console with the lid flipped open so you can see the buttons. Eject those seat cuz. <laughs> Sorry. I'm a dork. Come on. Get out of here. Release for me your hidden secrets. Oh. The interior chassis, or the chassis, tub. Again, in a different shade of plastic. So, you know, again, it's designed so that you could put it all, all together as is. And it has some different tonal qualities to it. But, you know, we're going to put some paint on these and bring all the detail out. Looks good. Looks really good. An engine bottom, you know, so that when you flip it over, you can see parts of what might be a motor in there. Uh, I'm sure there's areas that could be improved, you know, um, maybe exhaust pipes or who knows. I'm not sure how far into it I'll go. I mean, I'm definitely building the bond car with. Let's see, is this where they are? With all the extras, yes. There we go. <laughs> so those will go in your centers and then stick out. <laughs> Super cool. So, you know, the car should have rockets and missiles and machine guns and smoke deflectors. And so it's got the roof, optional roof. Where is that? Okay. Is there... There is no roof for it. Uh oh. Oh, oh no, there we go. Yeah, I was gonna say, well, that's kind of a bobber. No, there it is. This front may be an advantage to opening all the bags off camera, but again, I don't feel like that's a real unboxing. You know, you're actually seeing it with me for the first time. And we just discovered that. I mean, I already kind of knew this, but. 
that's super cool with the stickers the decals for the back the pew pew marks yeah i will definitely be building mine up with all of those features out uh what about you how are you gonna build yours let me know what you think of the easy click systems i'm i like them i'm a fan again i'll take some pictures uh all this stuff so you can see it a little bit closer and that's about it thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one